Hi, my name's uh, Alex McElhinney. I've just been uh, leading the Thames Trail walk today um, from O2 to the Thames Barrier, which is where we are now. So people's reaction to the trail was quite engaging. They were looking for, we were stopping constantly to, there was things to take pictures and to memorize and to create a documentation and ar or an archive of the walk and the path it could be helpful in the future and could be just for our memory and you find the website but something that you can recommend and then refer to in future i think it was just an opportunity to do something a little bit different i think uh, taking a camera on a walk you see things differently you look at things differently so uh, it's just an opportunity to sort of get out and do that and obviously just doing it with other people um, puts another dimension on it as well, just sort of like-minded people, just a, just a nice way to sp spend some time really at the weekend. I expected to find something different to photograph or a different aspect of London to photograph than anything I've ever seen before. I'm always searching for something different. There's two sides to the trail, there's the actual river side itself and then the the, the land use on the other side of the path, so you could kind of look two ways, um, and, and then the, the mix of the of the two together. So no, it was it was it was an interest, an interesting sort of industrial and non-industrial um, and leisure activity going on the river, and it was, it was interesting. I didn't realise it was so industrial down here, um, especially where there was a lot of um, a lot of sand around one of the areas, kind of like a sand factory or something like that. It's interesting to see all the machinery still working. So I don't really see the Thames as a, such an industrial area as it probably would have been maybe 50 years ago. The journey in photography, it's an introspective journey. You go through and you look through the viewer, you find them, and you start capturing things in life. And that's an internal journey that you develop along. And although you're in a group, when the act of taking picture is a uh, soul act, it's unique for yourself. Probably my favourite part, I'd say, um, is, is the Thames Barrier. I always like the kind of architecture here. Um, it's quite a unique place. Um, so I've always think that makes it kind of very good dramatic backdrop for photographs.